Hee-ha. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, my bumper. She's in a pretty sorry state now. Uh, I know I'm not going to get back to perfection. We're going to use Autosol. So let's just uh, do a little bit here. And see how it comes out. As I said, I'm not expecting perfection. But as long as I can get something that's reasonable, you know, I know they need rechroming. That's not going to happen until I can save up the pennies to do it. Now you can see here where there was a rubber strip. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get too good here. Nope. The chrome is shot. Now, someone has told me that you can use wire wool to get rid of this. Let's get some wire wool and find out. Well, this could be a big mistake. Wire wool, let's give it a go. Has it made it any better? Nah. In all honesty, probably not. It feels smoother to the touch, I'll give it that. But does it really look that much better? What do you think? I don't think so. There's no two ways about it. It needs re-chroming. Ah, oh, that's money, 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 which I don't have. So I'm just going to have to get it as clean as I can with wire wool and uh, polish. And I'm just going to have to live with it until I can afford to get these bumpers re-chromed. And I have no clue how much that's likely to cost me. Yeah, I make it look a little prettier, but... Yeah, it, it's, no, I'm sorry guys, it's, uh, it's no good. Yeah, you can still feel the, the ridge edge there. They need to be re-chromed. Maybe I'll uh, make an inquiry and uh, find out how much that's likely to cost, how many arms and how many legs. Phew. Now, now I have to give a, a second thought here. If I'm going to get these re-chromed, there's no point in getting the inside powder coated because the chroming process will remove that. Hmm. Oh dear. Money, 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 which I don't have. Fuck. Yep, looks like it's going to have to go on as it is and then later on in life when I've saved up a few dollars I'll get them re-chromed. Well, I've given the uh, the bumper a, a once over with some steel wool. And bear in mind this bumper has been around a long time. Not as long as me, but still a long time. I mean, it's got a little bit of shine left in it. Particularly where the overriders were, of course, because they were protected. Um, and I gave it a quick polish with Solve Auto Solve. But there is no two ways about it. It needs re chroming. The, the, in fact, I, th I think somebody said it's never the chrome that gives up, it's what's underneath it. But I'm no, no expert. And 
when I got to these corners here they were rough so I, I got my little buddy out didn't I and made the edges look kind of nice did I need to of course I didn't will I yeah 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 I'm not quite sure what that crap is there because that's where the brake badge goes I'll clean that out all right so uh, my plan is uh, to put these on the car but I will take them to my powder coating buddy get him to powder coat the inside uh, is that a waste of money I guess I got to ask him how much he, he would charge first because I will be getting these re-chromed and the re-chroming process will remove his powder coating. So maybe, 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 maybe that won't be a good idea. Maybe I'm just throwing money away. But then again, I've got to figure out how soon will I be powder coating this. Uh, sorry, chroming this. And then again, I have to stand back and go, well, hang on, Gary. Uh, really? Will you ever get round to it? And if you do, then why don't you just clean up the inside and uh, paint it rather than spend money on powder coating. Now, when it's re-chromed, maybe I should get it powder coated or maybe in the re-chroming process, it will cover it on the inside enough that I don't have to worry. And that is probably some discussion I need to have with the chroming person look at that that looks beautiful there but i'm afraid she suffered hey like me she's getting old okay let's move on to who oh, what's next i think what i do need to do is get this baby sorted out and somewhere Aha, there it is. Get this sorted out and this sorted out so that you can say, okay, he's finished those. That's next. That's tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, that's tomorrow. Not that you'll notice because it's in the next video. Here we go again. I've been recording this video many times. All right. The uh, pump here, um, I am going through a various sequence of photographs to show you how it was before I took it apart. Uh, in this one, you can see the plate retaining the two valves. Uh, you can also see this little baby here, which is a piece of crap. And again, I'm hoping I'm going to get uh, a, a new um, item in the uh, kit from Mr. Berlin. I'm trying to show everybody the location of how items go together. Some good, some bad. Uh, as you can see, the pump is full of rust and crappy. So hopefully I can do something about that uh, with the rebuild kit. We will see. This little beastie was uh, difficult to get off. You had to spin it around, uh, avoiding the wires. Uh, for some reason, they were in the way. Not quite sure where that piece came from, so I need to find that out. And we will look into the future of that. Uh, what else is there? Ah, oh, here, the, the finger on the left in that valve. The finger on the right is there, but it's, it's the other side, so do note that uh, obviously it's a one-way valve, and you have to make sure of that. Uh, you can see on the left, uh, it has a gauze filter. The one on the right has bugger all. In the next image, you will see the seals. Not a very good picture, but the one after this uh, shows you how busted up the seals are. And uh, hopefully they, they come as part of the kit. There you go. Everyone you touch, they fall apart. But what the hell do you expect? 1964 fuel pump. It's going to happen. Ah, looks like the images have decided to
to lock. Give me one second. Right, let's uh, carry on the narration here as we move on to showing you the various orientations of uh, uh, the pump. This little beastie, once you take the, uh, the cover off there, you can see there is a nice cork gasket, which is rock hard. And you'll see in the next image when I tried to take it off, it said, yeah, screw you, I'm falling apart. Kerlunk, there you go. So, you know, it, you, you've got to hope that you, you get that as part of the, uh, the kit, uh, the rebuild kit. Okay. Okay, uh, this is uh, not quite a before and after. This is to show you the components that have come out of the fuel pump. Rather a lot, wouldn't you agree? Certain things broke when I took them out. Certain things were um, perished, particularly the, the seals that were in here. Um, and I'm hoping that when I get the rebuild kit, it will come with, you know, the new seals. I'm hoping it comes with the new diaphragm, uh, another new diaphragm. So all these diaphragms, I'm never going to get pregnant. Um, and this gasket seal. Uh, hopefully these little valves. Um, I don't know what, what it'll come with. I am waiting for... Um, Berlin in in the UK to get back to me to say hey Gary here's the rebuild kit for your pump if they don't and they say no no we don't have one for that then I will just uh, as previously mentioned I'm, I'm going to just buy um, a low pressure pump that gives the correct pressure for uh, the carburetor system which I, you know is probably somewhere like four or six pounds Whereas, you know, a lot of them are, um, oh gosh, 16, even higher than that um, for fuel injection. Well, of course, this is not fuel injection. So there it is. Uh, right, let's uh, carry on you can on the see, things here. need cleaning. As so this is off to the ultrasonic to cleaner. The All these little pieces will go in a jar. Uh, the big the pieces will just go in the basket. This little and we will see how it all the, comes uh, out. Um, obviously, the contacts nice there are pretty iffy. Um, and I took lots of photographs, as you and have just seen, the next image when I tried um, to, to hopefully... Yeah show um, how it all goes back together and uh, hopefully hopefully again that is um, of use to you guys if not I do apologize that is uh, all I can do all I have done and uh, well let's get this in the cleaner um, I won't show you it after it's clean there's really not much point in that um, yes you'll see these components and hopefully you'll see them clean well you won't see them clean because I'm not going to show you um, and then if I get the rebuild kit, then that will be another video. So this is just a SU fuel pump, I guess, tear down. And um, we'll tear it up Colour. There you in go. the next video, so, should you know, it, they you, send you've me got to hope the that kit. You, you get that as I'm sure it the, won't be uh, cheap. The kit. Again, thank uh, you for watching. Kit. Do okay. please like, comment, subscribe. Do feel free to donate and I will promise you I will buy gin or beer. Or maybe I'll even buy some equipment to, for uh, videoing. What do you think about that? Hmm. So, now, get out in that garage and do some shit.